this week we read Parshat Vayikra, and with that we start a new book. But the book begins with a very interesting expression. It introduces to us the concepts of karbanot, sacrifices that people should offer or will offer through the Kohanim via the priests in the heart, the bowels of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, and ultimately the Mikdash, the holy sanctuary in Jerusalem. But the Torah uses a very interesting vernacular with regards to introducing these korbanot that someone might offer and bring. The Torah says, Adam ki akriv mikem korbano la Hashem. Adam literally means man who decides to offer a sacrifice in the name of God to sanctify God's name in this world. And the question is, the word Adam is very, very rarely used. We know that Adam refers to Adam, the first man that inhabited this earth, this world. But why all of a sudden, in the transition, in introducing these sacrifices that would be offered, the Torah decides to use the vernacular, the usage of Adam? What does it mean? The Rashar Hirsch explains a tremendous insight, and that is, Adam knows its origins from two words. One is, Adam karui al shem Adama. Adama is ground, the dirt, the dirt of the earth. Man was formed from Adama, is called after the earth from which he comes and ultimately to which he will return. But at the same time, says the Rasha Hirsch, a tremendous insight. Adam also comes from the word Adame, Dome. Dome means to be similar to. Adame means that I try to be similar to. I ascribe to familiarize myself and to be similar to the following. Therefore, says Rasha Hirsch as follows. On the one hand, Adam is Adama. He is called after the dirt of the earth. He must remind himself to be humble and to maintain a certain amount of humility, understand and know his place and know his limits and be familiar with them. But at the same time, he should always aspire towards Adame. I have the capability of being similar to, of aspiring to, of representing in this world the concept of God. Adame, I will familiarize myself, I will be and ascribe myself towards being similar in the image of God. This is something that's obviously a very difficult thing for a person to do. And ultimately, I would say that the goal of man is to maintain that balance. On the one hand, he has to know his place and know his limitations. On the other hand, he should know his potential and realize and actualize it by the way that he behaves and exhibits himself in this world. Gila, I recall, and this is a story I might have said in the past, but it's worth repeating. Gila, I remember a young lady came over to me where I spoke somewhere, and she said to me, you know, I knew your daughter. She'd always come over and cheer me up when I was down. And I said, oh, did you go to the same school as her in high school? And she said, no, I went to the adjacent school right next door. I said, well, in that case, how exactly did you know her? She said, well, when we were in the schoolyard during recess and Gila would see me from across the yard, even though I was in a different school, when she saw that I was down and didn't look too uh, in good spirits, she would come over to me with a smile on her face and, as we like to say, spread joy. She'd ask me, how am I doing? How are things going? Why don't I look happier? How can I help you out? This was the kind of person that Gila was, and we've said this countless amount of times. On the one hand, Gila knew and understood that a person could and feel like Adama, that they are grounded. At the same time, she would remind those people around her to be Adame, aspire towards heights, remind yourself that you are worth something, that you have the capability of being similar to the image of God. That is what you represent in this world. These are the concepts that introduce Vayikra. They are things that we have to embrace in our own lives. Humility, but at the same time, longing towards greatness that we truly can accomplish in this world. This is the Parsha's way. This is the Torah way. And this certainly is the Gila way. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you once again for joining us. Please remember to consider subscribing to the page below and send me your comments. I will get back to you. Have a great day.